What's up, everybody, and welcome to Terrific Thursday. You got a name every I day. I do. But first, I have to say, where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champ Bag. BKA the cringe, is the better known portion. as the cringe portion. What's the cringe portion? The cringe portion of your gym stars. That's so cringe. It's gym like stars? You know what like <laughs> How's it going to do it? Is it one pull? No, it's two, but it's just cringe when you do it. Anyway, go anyway, ahead. Anyway, so we're going to try to keep this video under 12 minutes. <laughs> so, Shame. let's get started. So, we're going to start off a little different today. So, remember early in the week, we was talking about your favorite breakfast cereal? I was on Facebook the other day, and I saw this where Trix cereal has, like, changed their shape. So, originally, they started off with the uh, puff balls, just normal circle balls. Then they went to the fruity shapes of Trix, and now they have reverted back back to the normal puffs. I thought it was always uh, fruit shaped, but Jay has said no. It has always been puffs. It was puffs. It was puffs. You gotta be old as hell to remember them puffs, though. I'm old as hell, so I remember them puffs. That you are. What? So, moving on to the second thing here, and this is a little bit more serious. So, Michael Vick has been, um, is, is being honored as the Pro Bowl captain. But there are petitions going around saying that he should not be honored because of what he did with the whole dog fight. They're saying that how can you honor someone that showed cruelty to animals? He is not deserving of that. Right. And I got, want to know what you guys think about it. I mean, we got pro pro bowl captains that that you got probably none way worse. This just domestic violence. You beating on humans. Yes. And, and we look right over that, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. So, drop it down in the comments. Do you guys uh, agree with what the people are saying that Michael Vick should not be honored as a Pro Bowl captain because of, of his past? Let that stuff go. That too. Or, hey, that man done a lot with football. Let him be honored and move on from it. And Let us know what you think in the comments. Too. Yes, yes. So, he has, you know, he, he's apologized for what he did. He's done great things, you know, working with the community and trying to, you know, overcome the past. But just let us know what you think about that. And the third thing, I know y'all ready for this one. He's got the hands rubbed. Someone dropped down in the comments, hey, let's see a comparison between um, reporters or sport commentators. So here we have Sage Steele and we have Maria Taylor. Which one are you going to go with, Sage Steele or Maria Taylor? Now, if it was me, let's see. I think I like Sage still looks, but I love Maria Taylor personality. Her personality is just a little more outgoing than Sage still. So, drop it down in the comments what you want, and let's still try to keep this video under 12 minutes. Go, Jake. You done took six out. What do you mean? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we in and not like a robbery. One more time, I just want y'all to say, yes, sir. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video. Listen here, man. We got people that have had DUIs. We got people that got domestic violence uh, raps. We got people that done outright just beat people up in the league. All this stuff that the league keep on the raps. And just because you don't know about it doesn't mean that it didn't happen, right? I don't know, man. I think it might be time. Michael Vick come out here and apologize. Donated uh, time, effort, money, all that to the Humane Society. He done all this stuff to try to make it square. And he probably wasn't even the main main guy in the whole thing. He just was the money behind it. So if you don't want to forgive him, if you don't want to get past it, that's fine. But Riley Cooper played in the NFL after he said he'll fight everybody in here. So. Yeah, yeah, but you know it is what it is, man. I mean, but that's not a crime, though, right? So it is what it is. Like I said, it wasn't. We got people doing egregious things against humans, and continuing to play in the league, and continuing to, and continuing to, um, you know, be pro bowlers, be pro bowl captains. We got people that are openly racist. We got people that are all these things. But the thing is. We always try to hide behind what we didn't we didn't know about it. And that's true. What you don't know don't hurt you. We don't know about it, but we know it's going. Do we not know it's going on? Why don't we know it's going on? Is it because it's not happening? 
Or is it because the NFL is turning a blind eye to it? So if it doesn't make it, we know how the NFL operates and all these entities operate. If it doesn't make it to the news, they don't punish you. They know that these people got, they say it's like the, like the Terrell Pryor thing. They said he can't keep his hands off his girlfriend. People have known about this. Teammates knew about it. The, uh, the, the, the team knew about it. Everybody knew about it. Her family knew about it. But now it's a problem when it makes it. To the actual news. Now it's a problem. It wasn't a problem when you beating it. When, when, allegedly, allegedly, when he was alleged. Hey, I was working with some ink this morning, so that's when my hands look like this, man. I'm working on my new yeah, printer daddy, to get these yeah, just, to yeah. get these shirts. And speaking of which, man, check out the baby the baby Yoda shirt, man. Boom. Hey, spot your eye wheel. This joint is fire. But all I'm saying is we have a lot of things that go on: drug problems, domestic violence, um, everything. All this stuff that goes on, but if it doesn't make it to the news cycle, the NFL don't care. You see what I'm saying? The leagues don't care. But once it makes it there, but I bet the people that are impacted by it, I bet they care. It is what it is, like I said. Next topic, Amazon. Next topic, man. We made a difference. Amazon is back up and running, ladies and gentlemen. They was at my door this morning. Everything is back. I got some stuff I ordered today. It's going to be here tomorrow. Yes, sir. Look at the gym stars. Give yourselves a hand, gym stars. We did it. We reported on it. Everybody else was scared to report on it. We brought it to the forefront. We got this thing resolved. Jeff Bezos ain't got shit on me. That's topic 2K. That's right. That's right. Hold on. Let me revel in my essence for a second. All this rave, all this Draven adoration. Draven. If you caught their reference, let me know. Anyway, man, up to 2K. Hey, your boy Double H DF is telling you. He's trying to tweet it, Mike Wong and all those guys and let them know that these courts are, are broken. Every time, look, courts with the X on them are very choppy. Thank me later. And he's absolutely correct. Now, I can play on this court. Nobody's been able to play on the damn come up court forever. I, like I keep telling y'all, I guarantee... That, that you see that Santa sleigh that's up there? I bet that was flying around the park. And they had to go retool it when they realized that the witch was breaking the park. They had to go retool it. So I bet that that's why they sat him down on the side. But the Christmas tree is killing the park. On this side, we don't know what's killing the park on the left side. It's probably all the people standing around not playing pro-am, not doing anything. But those uh the, the those these are the courts that are the hardest to play on like i said i think they've sorted out a lot of the lag problem with this court because we were able to play on it last night and it was cool this court is a little funny sometimes it's a little funky sometimes but it's fixed for the most part and uh this court is is the come up court is always trash i got a conspiracy theory behind that i think that they make the come up court time and be trash so that when you go play on the come up court people not gonna shoot you out of the water and like Real competitive players, they're not going to really go to the come-up court because they know, bro, you can't shoot over there. You can lose to anything over there. And so maybe that's why because come-ups feel more comfortable on the come-up court because they know that they're not going to get blasted. I think that they just keep their court laggy just for that, that reason. But guess what? We got Raising with Randoms coming up today. So <laughs> you ain't safe over there. Come-ups, I'm coming for you. All right. I said that's right. Yes. Yes, right. He, anyway, but like I said, though, man, just govern yourselves accordingly with this, man. You, you cannot. Those are the courts that you can't play on. It's really difficult to play on them. All that good stuff. Next up in the news, your boy Hank the Tank. I have a Twitter. I have an announcement. Hank the Tank has a huge announcement. I now have a man bun. What? I ain't gonna cap though. I'm trying to get me a man bun too. What I'm actually trying to do is I'm gonna get the freeform dreads. Then when these get long enough, I'm gonna get the man bun dreads. And then then I'm just gonna have the dreads all around. I'm never gonna do like, like some people are doing the thing with the dreads where they like shaving the sides and stuff. I'm not gonna do that. I'm never gonna do that. I want my hair to be full as long as it can be full. Y'all don't know that about being 40 and getting the whole hair to hair on these things. Let me drink my invisible drink. Let me dip my invisible drink right quick. Hmm? Okay, that is your sprite. But anyway, he got the man bun. W-R-L in the, in the comments, man. It's the poll up top. Hank the Tank man bun. This is the W-R-L. It really don't matter as long as he rocks with it. It don't matter. Huh? Okay. But anyway, it don't matter, Bridget. As long as he rock with it, it's all good. And then you see the you see the responses. Where's, call, where's Agent uh, Beamstar when you need him? 
L Day 2K this is what pause all this. Let me see. This is why this is why we love you, Chris. Hey bro, the roast station for the roast nation has begun. We go on to the head to the tweet, and then this is where we go. <laughs> Look like dude without <laughs> Look like this dude without the bun. <laughs> That's messed up. Imagine wearing a Cuban link in 2019, bro. They are roasted. The roast, the roast nation has come to life. Them lips about dry as ash. <laughs> what y'all boys? Hell, look at it. <laughs> it's that Eminem. I'm about to end another career. I am sleep. You low key look like MGK. If he was a ver bro, y'all boys gotta stop this. Let me say, get a load of this. Oh, that's messed up right there, man. That's not nice. Damn, you vibe. Anyway, like, <laughs> don't make me. Look, bro, y'all boys got to stop. Y'all be roasting too hard. But look, like I said, as long as Hank likes it, that's all that really matters, my guy. Like, like my hair. People don't like my hair. They keep telling me, hey, your hairline, this, your hair. Boy, my hairline is pristine. Boy, look at that. Look at that. I hey, hope that you got a hairline like this when you turn 40, sucker. That's right. And right, and last but not least, NBA 2K Labs has done a video on deep fades, and these are the percentages, man. They're saying that they say that you know that's all y'all y'all say all we do is, is talk about threes. So we're gonna talk about some of these uh you know some of the two pointers. They did a great video on deep fades. They let you know how it impacts your shot, how it affects everything, and how you yourself um should you use it, should you not use it. If you want to know whether or not you should use it and what level you should use it on head on over to nba 2k labs man and they will and i mean you know the uh, video and they're gonna hook you up and you're gonna like what you see and all of that good stuff and last but not least look here well hey, last but not least one more time i got drip for sale baby yo the spot you are wheel shirt is in the store y'all see how it came out magnificently and this is a picture that i've been trying bro Baby Yoda, dope. Well, they got him with the tails, the triple fat goose, North Face, and they got him with the, iP uh, the iPods in the. <laughs> it is what it is, though, man. But like I said, too much fun this morning. We did it, Gym Stars. The Amazon strike is over. Go ahead and order all your stuff. You good to go. And then let me know down in the comments. Maria here. I mean, I'm, damn. Maria Taylor or Sage Steel? I say. Sage Steel or Maria Taylor. They both nice. I like Sage, Sage Steel hair. You know, um, some just because it's, what do you call this? The curly. Coils. Yeah, the coily, the coily curly fro. I, I just like, I like her hair. Uh, but as far as bodies go, they about the same, you it's know. Yeah, it, it definitely is. It's six o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top, cruising the streets. Anyway, we right at 12 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We up against it. I'm going to holler next time. Let me know down in the comments if you like the video. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Hit up the video from last night. We did a three-hour stream. Me, T. Mizzle, and Jarius Twin. Uh, we was hooping. Hey, your boy Joe Nose even came through and said, Big fan, dog. I've been rocking with you since 2017. Now, that's motivation. I say it's motivation. We gonna keep doing it, man. 60 videos this month, man. We gonna make it to that. I'm out of here. Y'all Y'all let me know what y'all think about everything. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Godspeed. Go back, like the stream from last night, Raising with Randoms, up next. And I'm out. Peace.